Hello and welcome back to our Let's Play of Civilization VI as the Congo. We're going for a relic focus because, as you might know, the Congo can eat their relics. That's their unique ability. I'm not quite sure how that works, but that's how it works. I'm going to go ahead and settle this city up here. Um, just taking a look at the map here, I think there are a couple more cities, like one up here, for example. And maybe one down here. I'm going to put them on the mountains because I want to indicate that I don't know exactly which tile I want them on. And maybe one down here. Like, Actually, who's in the neighborhood? Okay, so this is probably where Bolivar is because look, the minus 20s are closer to this edge of the map. Hmm. I'll probably start on the hill and see if he's there. Ugh, there's a bug that's plaguing the user interface um, where you can click and it will keep the uh, map stuck on your cursor. Okay, I do want to buy the monument in here and it's time to buy the monument, but I think based on what I see here, it's going to take 31 turns to grow to this tile. And what I would rather have happen is I would rather work this 2-2 tile now and she's next to it. This is the only tile that I really feel rivaled to pick up, so I'm just going to pick it up now. That also helps the city be a little bit better, and then I'll just wait a few more turns for that monument. I probably should have done that as soon as I settled that city. And I could sneak out a granary here, but I think I'd rather just start uh, continue producing settlers. And actually, let's look at the tiles that I'm working in here. I'm working spices and high production. I, I guess is the best that I can do. We're going to hard build state workforce and bronze working. I don't really need to wait for either of those. And I'm still trying to figure out whether I think that Fire Goddess was the right call or whether I should... Yeah, there's uh, uh, someone. I'm still trying to figure out whether I think that Fire Goddess was the right call or should have, I should have waited for Earth Goddess. Fire Goddess seems like the short-term play based on the number of uh, geothermal fissures and things that I have. And volcanic soil. But if I get the Eiffel Tower, which will happen way, way later in the game, suddenly all of my tiles will provide me with faith. I think that Fire Goddess is probably better in that case because it would take me so long to get them. Oh, there's science in the tiles. So that, that's iron. If you see science stranded there in the yields and you haven't revealed iron, then you can say, oh yeah, that's definitely iron because he's getting science from that tile. How, how else would he be get, getting science from that hill? Okay, so bronze working is done. I don't really have anything that I really need to tech into really quickly. I could go for currency quickly, but then I'm not going to be making any commercial hubs right now. I think I want to go ahead and spend some time on bronze working, or sorry, iron working. I do have a source of iron over here, which is good. And so if I can connect that source of iron and get the boost, create my unique unit that's worth some air score. And I think this city actually zones out another city on the river. Um, yeah, it's only that tile though. So I have to trade between this city or that city. Ugh. It looks like I'm going to be zoned out for land. I will have a few cities up here, but there's the Manjaro settle. And we're one more turn away from that monument. I'm going to have uh, Kinshasa start on a Old Godopolis because I think that uh, picking up those tiles is going to be more important than growing. We will queue up a granary as well. And uh, I don't think I have any strong governor title picks. I mean, I could grab rain and pick, pick up some more of these tiles quicker. What is, uh, I could put her in the capital. I think I'll just hold on to that governor title and maybe use it to promote... Uh, myself into the Void Singers more. And we're good. Okay, I'm gonna keep moving my warrior back to see if I can figure out what this land is. Somebody built Great Bath and Stonehenge, that's all fine. Okay, so we got a Barbarian camp over here. And let's grab um, open borders from our buddy. Open borders, open borders, pay me. 
I wonder if he'll grab open borders from this. That'll improve his relationship with us. Yeah, he has a slightly negative impression of us. So if we grab open borders, and then maybe we can even trade with him. I do know where Panama is, so that's good. Problem with making a road to Simon Bolivar is it's really easy to upset him and get into war with him, and then he'll just use that war to bring his units over, and he already has uh, Sonic the Hedgehog style movement. Ooh, we have iron over here. So there's a good city in here somewhere. Um, I'll have to think about it. Like, this is potentially a good industrial zone because I could put an aqueduct in a city center and then have mines all around, so it'd be plus two, three. Then maybe another a district here. That's thinking too far in the future. We did secure our golden age, somehow. Uh-oh, we've been scouted by... I think it's this barbarian camp up here that scouted us. So I'm gonna have to use my scout to cut off this scout. And, oh, I forgot to buy my monument. But I guess it's a good thing, because I want to buy this slinger. And my settler's done. I think it's time to go ahead and settle this area down here. Where... what exact tile? Hmm... If I settle like right next to the volcano, then I get geothermal fissure for the faith, I get deer- like this tile is seeming like a pretty good tile, and then I could potentially build an industrial zone. Although if I go down here one more, then I get this 2-3 tile, this tile gets crushed, but I get a little further away from the volcano. It doesn't really matter that much to be that far away from the volcano, but then I might be able to pick up the wine. It's just less defensive. I think I'll be greedy and I'll try to pick up the wine. And I will send my settler through here, and if the volcano erupts, then I guess I will die. For now, um... I think this is a um, audience chamber game. I'm gonna have such good food output that I won't really need the, um... food tile so much as housing. That was clumsy. I'm going to have a bunch of food, and I'm going to need to catch up with housing, and I'll have a bunch of neighborhoods too, but uh, the main disadvantage is that uh, I won't have that housing until later in the game, so I think the audience chamber is the way to go. And I might put that city center like right, or the government closet like right here, and have a bunch of um, districts from Kinshasa and Bumbi and all those places. So for now, let's grab another settler. I could eke out another um, campus. Or something like that, uh, or maybe a granary. Yeah, I think it, I think we got to get these cities online. I'm gonna move the scout away and try and zone out the scout, and then I'll use this slinger to try to clear out that camp. As far as which city builds the government plaza, it's probably going to be the capital. Yeah, let's heal up your obelisk after this. I'm probably not going to buy that obelisk because I just bought the slinger. Hmm. Oh, there's another... It's a perfectly good campus. It's a plus five campus there. So there's a plus five campus here and a plus five campus here. That'll probably do us for campus. Oh, that's a plus seven campus? Two, four, five, six, seven. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Yep, we're definitely settled in the city, and that's a good choice. Uh, I'll buy a granary for this city because it's going to have housing problems. And then I might, uh, once I sneak out the settler, I might put it in Kilimanjaro and grow that city and then get the audience chamber. I'm not too worried about these other couple cities just yet. Right now, I feel like we have enough cities that we can win with how tall they're going to be. And then we'll have to build more cities. Reina could be a good choice to be able to buy these districts. Will I have enough gold economy to do that? Here's the problem. I'm going to have a bunch of theater squares I'm going to want to buy. Because I'm going to have a bunch of cities that I don't settle just yet. And that's going to mean that I have cities where it'll take me 30 turns, 40 turns to build these theater squares. I am going to settle on this tile. Sorry, trying to think and talk at the same time. It can be killer. Yeah, that'll just give me some more space from the capital. The capital will be very tall, and the city will also be very tall, ultimately. I'll probably build an aqueduct here, 
and then a campus here, and then I'll probably build an industrial zone right there. Okay, I uh, can't attack yet. I can right here, so might as well do that. Anything to reduce the HP of this boy. Okay, there's our archery. And that's fine. I, I was actually a little wary of creating this slinger because I felt like I was about to get outclassed. Especially in the next era. Okay, uh, I'm going to keep this warrior down here with this city. And this city's just going to be garbage for a little while. It's okay. I'll grab the audience chamber. And... Oh, there's political philosophy. So we could grab classical republic, which would help out. Oh, I didn't mean to hard build iron working. Oops. Let's grab currency. Alright, let's found this city. Uh-oh. She's mad at me that I settled on a different continent that she's not on. Oh, dang it. Where was the continent lens? Um, yeah, it, I guess it doesn't really matter. We still have a good friendship with her. Yeah, so she's gonna be basically neutral as a result of her um, agenda and our forward settle. Which is fine. Uh, I'm gonna... I can't buy the granary because it just ran out of gold. I wanted to buy the wine to make sure that the city-state didn't pull it, but then that was not actually a smart idea because the city-state will only grab tiles that are within the second ring first, so that was not a good... That was not a min-max there. It'll only take me 17 turns to build this granary. Which tile are we working? We're working the deer. Um, I say that we go ahead and spend some time on the obelisk and then we can buy the granary. Because I want to grow towards some more of these tiles. Get this city really tall and exert pressure over here. I might have to build an encampment in here as well. I can put that right there and then the city's really defensible. Or I can put it right here. That's actually a really good encampment. Because it can shoot... Uh, two of the tiles that the capital will be being shot from, and it's it can't be hit itself without the capital. Yeah, so walls in here will be really, really strong in defending my empire from Simon Bolivar. And I'm thinking of it's not a matter of if, but when that he attacks me, because he's just a really aggressive player. So we do have a government. I forgot to actually choose a government here. I think I'm going to be greedy and grab Classical Republic. Um, autocracy would be a good choice because I do want the extra science and culture, but I, th I think I have a, have a strong enough science and culture game that I want the housing because my cities are having struggle gro are having problems growing. So getting that extra housing now will really help my cities grow, and then I can also grab urban planning and maybe... Um, I want charismatic leader, and then maybe I'll grab... Um, Koge for my last slot, or I guess Ilkum, because I'll probably start producing builders sometime soon. Yeah, I think I'll do that. I don't anticipate building like the Oracle. I don't have a good spot for the Oracle, like right there. Eh. I guess two cities can get build a theater square on it. Then I could build my government plaza there. That wouldn't be a bad idea. It's just that uh, we're not a very great person-focused culture game. So the early game wonders don't really matter to us that much. I mean, the one that really matters is the pyramids. Uh, we have to choose a full uh, civic. Let's grab for defensive... Er... Mm. I do want to get my theater squares online. But I'd rather grab Valime's. Would I? So far he has a neutral relationship with me, but that changes quickly. I'm gonna see if I can sneak out drama and poetry, grab myself some theater squares, and get going on culture. Because I win the game by tourism. I don't win the game by defending myself with the walls. It's just preventing myself from losing the game. See, look, we already have a, uh, met another housing limit. I'm gonna get this guy into friendly territory and then heal up. And I'll probably park this uh, Slinger in Kinshasa, or maybe actually just Fog Bust up here. I think that's a better idea. So 
So I think after this settler, I'll probably build a sneak out a builder and then see if I can build the government plaza, maybe right here, and then get some good surrounds on that. I, I do have some chops, so chop out a wonder. Mm. So like, what wonder could I get in this area? I guess I could get Forbidden City right here, but then I wouldn't be able to surround the... Mm. I'll have to think about it. I am going to come settle this other city. I don't know what's in the middle here, so I don't know where to settle uh, the last one. Actually, I think I should send my slinger to, to figure out what, what the heck is over in my own land before I send this settler over here. Well, actually, I'll send my settler through. It's fine. I'll figure out where I want to settle this settler in just a moment. But for now, let's see. That's our campus, and then that might... These two might be the only campuses we actually need. Yeah, okay. I'm going to automate the exploration of this dude because I don't want to think about him anymore. And the ancient era is almost over. So I don't know exactly where to put the government plaza, but I just kind of think that open land is, is pretty strong, generally speaking. So they build it right there, but I don't have that tile yet. Mm. Whatever, it doesn't have to be perfect to be good. You'll have my slinger, slinger fog bust right there. Oh, he's sending me a delegation. That's a good sign. Okay, he wants to be friends. So I'm going to grab friendship with Simone Bolivar, and this is going to be a much, much better game as a result. So what is he happy about? We send him a delegation, we have open board, we have a friendly meeting, we declare them a friend. We don't know his other agenda yet. He likes highly promoted units, but we don't have those, and we're not going to get them if we're going to play peaceful. But maybe we could satisfy his random agenda. And we have a dedication for our golden age. I think... There's no brainer here. We're going to grab Monumentality. So we can start spending some of this faith. Because we don't have any commercial hubs yet. Let's grab Monumentality. And I think we should keep trading with um, Great Britain. I could use a road through to Panama. That could further strengthen the relationship that I have with him. A road to Taruga would be nice too. But if I go to, let's see, Leeds is where the trade route is. So Birmingham would give me plus one gold. Mm. How much is trading with her helping? Uh, it's actually not helping at all. Let's create a road to Taruga. Because we're declared friends for a while, and we want that road through the middle of our empire to connect our cities better. Okay, currency is done. Um, I think I want to go ahead and grab some time towards mathematics. Does that seem like a good idea? It gives me the consulate. Last time I played with the consulate, I didn't seem it didn't seem like it actually worked correctly. At least my mod that shows yields did not show it correctly. And friends with both of them, so I deserve to get a little greedy here. So I think I might want to go for apprenticeship. And then as far as my monumentality golden age, do I buy settlers or do I buy builders? Let's see, faith purchasing of settlers is 280 for the next settler. I think I could purchase a settler and then quickly purchase builders. Thing is, my faith income is actually about to get way stronger due to the uh, uh, finishing of these obelisks. Let's see. Is there anything in here that's worth settling? Like, I guess technically I could settle a city right here instead. Use the capital to get this campus. But I think overall that means I, I work less tiles. Or should I say fewer tiles. So yeah, I think settling the um, Kilimanjaro city is the best. Just because it'll grow. It doesn't have very good production, but it'll have a lot of growth. And then I can uh, work these uh, faith tiles as well. I get the bonus for sailing. Yay.
Actually, you know what? I think production is more important. Well, I made a monumentality golden. Ugh, excuse me. I tend to mumble and... I also have this tick where I, when I start spilling over a word, my brain just decides to make it worse by doing exactly what I did, which is not a very pleasant sound. I'm also not used to recording myself for posterity's sake, so... Okay, so we're ready to move away from horseback riding. Do we have any pastures to improve? No. Let's just, let's just beeline apprenticeship so we can get some of these mines online. Okay, so I am at settler time. Uh, my capital could make this settler. Um, we actually want to build the audience chamber in the capital. And what else? I guess I could buy this settler of Kinshasa. There is another city over here somewhere. So I should think about that as being a city. I think I buy it out of Kinshasa because Kinshasa doesn't have very good tiles to work and Kinshasa will also be growing really, really rapidly. So for now, these settlers are basically, or this extra population here is basically worthless. So really what I should have done is use this settler to settle this city and then use the settler out of Kinshasa to settle this city. That would have been faster, but it's already done. Let's grab a settler. So the thing about a Monumentality Golden Age is even getting one faith-based settler is really, really good if you have a uh, faith economy. And I'm about to have a huge faith economy, so I might even be able to purchase another settler. If I can get three settlers out of this, then get three cities online, that's fantastic. Technically speaking, I think that the builder purchase with faith is a little bit less efficient because of, see, I'm running the Ilkum card, so I get bonus production towards builders. That's the only advantage towards builders that I have. So I really want to produce these builders and buy other things. But the other downside of that is that like, I can buy builders so cheaply with faith that I might as well just not take advantage of that card. So I, I just think Monumentality is probably the best classical golden age that you can get. In terms of if you are in the right situation for it, that is. Uh, Hattusa, please get out of the way. Oh, speaking of which, I need to move Amani to Hattusa. I don't think anybody is Suzerain of Hattusa yet. Yeah, so I can get Aeroscore for being Suzerain of Hattusa. And we're going to move this down here. Move this boy over here. And we'll settle on the rice. That'll clear the marsh here. Oh, we got a catastrophic eruption, which made all of the tiles and goodened. Oh, sorry. But... Ah, I'm losing control of my game. Okay, settling this city. Okay. So we, we're already getting faith from this volcanic tile. Is it worth starting to buy these tiles? Because it's not actually growing towards Kilimanjaro. I don't know why it's growing towards crappy tiles. 70 gold for this tile? I think that's probably way, way worth it. Let's just do it. Okay, in here, we have to buy this campus and build it. It's just too much science to, to wait around for. It's a plus seven campus. Let's just go ahead and at least lock in the price. I'll probably buy the granary in here to help this city grow because it's going to have a lot of trouble. And then at that point, I'll probably move Imani back into home court because I don't need any of these suzerainties right now, but I need his housing. What am I producing in Spinda? I guess we grab the obelisk so we can grow the city more. Or in terms of border or tiles. And we have envoys to send, but I don't want to send them yet. Governor title to grab. I guess if anything, we should grab Leon because we're about to purchase a bunch of builders. Although Magnus could also be good for all of these chops that I've just committed to doing. 
but I still like the plus five culture and plus five science that I'm getting out of the capital. It'll be a while before Kinshasa catches up. Yeah, let's go ahead and grab Liang. Let's appoint her in Bumbi, which is pretty central to my empire, and then we'll use Bumbi to faith by builders. Okay, so now that we're on the coast, oh man. So both of them want us to create a strong uh, naval military. That's both good and bad. The bad thing is I have to spend a lot of time on a military that I don't particularly want. But the good news is I know how to appease them, and it should be pretty easy to do. I'm going to go ahead and appoint Reyna, because I could grow new tiles in the city faster. Actually, let's pick up tiles in, in here. These are technically faith tiles with these uh, geothermal fissures. But I think these are better faith tiles. I'm going to go ahead and appoint Reyna to Spinda. And let's see, it's time to build our theater square, I think. Do I have to pay gold for that? Ugh. guess, technically speaking, I could build the theater square right here, and then build this theater square here and this theater square here. But that doesn't leave me open to any wonders. I just think this is a very wonder weak game. I don't have good spots for wonders. I mean, what are the wonders that can give me great works of artifact? I guess the Apadana could be any work type. Is the Apadana still around? Apadana, great work slots of any type, but I don't think that counts artifacts. It does count relics. Yeah, I just don't think we're a very relic or a very um, wonder focused game this time. So let's just go ahead and get our theaters for our mind. I keep not buying the Grand Ring here like I need to. I don't really see any reason to try and um, wait for a city in here. I'll just go ahead and settle this one. What was the air score for? Oh yeah, we were the first user of Hattusa. Another thing I want to do pretty quickly is spend some time towards my naval military because my friendships are running out. Oh, she wants to be friends again. Yes, please. Okay, and I guess again we grab the obelisk in here. It's just so good. I'm in a monumentality golden age. I'm grabbing so much extra faith. Ugh. Well, I mean, it won't actually benefit me for this era, like potentially 50 turns, but more like 30. Still, I'm working the tobacco. Is that what I want to work? No, I'd rather work the extra production in this city. Speaking of which, we're working good tiles in here. Actually, this is not a good tile to be working. Let's swap that tile. And if we can work. Yeah, that's a better balance. I guess eventually I could build the Hermitage here if I put uh, Congo's Theater Square there. Okay, there's Games and Rec, which we don't need at all. I'm not going to be producing any more Settlers, so I think I'll grab Locum there and then Insulai. We have to have two specialty districts to benefit from that. I'd rather have Land Surveyors, I guess. Maybe, maybe Great Rider Points. Because you can't buy great rider points. Okay, this is fantastic. I I think I've already won the game at this point. Yeah, speaking of which, I, I gotta go. That's gonna do it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this content, please be sure to like it. And don't forget to subscribe as well. And I will see you in the next one.